camera. Wait, wait, can we, can we do it like actually? Um, in five, four, three, two. Hey! I used to have to carry around two bags, and being a catcher, I had an extremely big bag, and it was very annoying. But now that I have my license and the car, I just leave my bag in there. I do. I usually do one for my school and one for track, and I usually have a lot of those two bags. I carry actually three bags. <laughs> I have three bags that I bring to school. It's a lot, because it's painful, especially if you don't have a car bag. Sometimes, cause I sometimes I'll set my bag down and trip over it, and it's always heavy. So yeah. Um, I make my boyfriend carry my soccer bag. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have crazy tan lines everywhere. Well, I mean, I got crazy short tan lines. <laughs> yes, during tracks you don't get tan. When it starts getting sunnier, I develop a uh, tan around my wrist from my wrist guards and then sometimes around my hand from my glove. Um, not me personally. I know the all the girls have these really crazy tan lines from the different suits, but us guys just have the Speedo tan lines. I do. I have like a sports bra one that usually happens all the time and then with the spandex that we wear for track, I didn't like it last season, but I feel like I got faster, so I started liking it, so I started doing more running. I do not like running, and I cannot run. I love running, honestly. I love running, and I think if I wasn't swimming, I'd be doing like track or something like that, but uh, I was swimming, so. I'm not a big fan of running, but I'll definitely run my butt off in soccer. <laughs> I think I love it. It's something that if I stop doing it, that I'm just going to want to get back to it. I always want to progress in what I do, and I always want to be the best at what I do. So, you got to love it. It's bittersweet for me. I'm a huge proponent of exercise, but at the same time, I get very lazy when it comes to running. I know it's good for me, but it sucks. I love it. Yeah. I hate running. But you know, in the game, we gotta run the fast break. If you wanna run the fast break fast, get Xavier out there for an open dunk, that's our main offense right there. I mean, I did cross country for two years, so running isn't that bad for me. Like, if I get forced to run, it's like punishing or something by the coach, I, I'm fine with it. Oh, yes, I do get really upset when we do this first thing. But I don't get used to it. I get upset when I'm running as punishment if it's for something that I don't think I should be held accountable for. That makes me upset because I feel like as a student athlete, I already put in my time and so you know what, I just gotta do it because I'm a student athlete. Like, I gotta do it. Like, I get pretty annoyed when we have to run as punishment. But then in the end, it's kind of just like whatever. It helps me at the end of the day. Oh yeah, oh yeah. For Especially instance, for instance, coming late, Michael. We Hunter. had to run 16 lines because our dude was late. Michael Hunter, get on practice. Games. I'm very competitive, especially when it comes to playing with people I know. I want to beat them. I am generally competitive. Usually during practices, I'm not that competitive, but like 
at meets I'm like when we have games or something and we're losing or I start getting more like, all the time I like to win in soccer yeah I'm pretty competitive I guess this team has that we lose a game everyone's bad yeah it's just the other brothers all you know, pretty bad and we we had to get held back <laughs> Not leaving the gym too early because we're trying to go out. And Ray over here, balling like a little girl. Yeah. Not really. I usually knock down or something. Yeah, especially after games. Like you get home late and you have to finish your homework for school tomorrow. That's always rough. You come home late, so I end up staying up late a little, a little bit later for practice because of practice or my games or whatever, especially the games because those tend to last a bit longer and then we have to clean up the field, but I mean it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. During swim season I do stay up late uh, to do homework. Uh, yeah, especially uh, when I'm missing when I'm missing school for meetings and things like that, I'll, I'll have extra homework to do and I'll end up staying up uh, fairly late. I really do stay up late doing homework. It's part of being a student athlete and it's part, especially if you want to get a scholarship for the sport that you do. You have to learn how to um, use time management and how to manage your time when you have free time when you're not doing anything to get the work done so you won't have to do it later. Okay, I stay up at least till 4 o'clock for the month of work, but... What I'm dunked on! <laughs> I don't know. Your pants fall down? Maybe if you go for a ball, it's too close to the net, you accidentally get clotheslined by the net or something, fall over, that'd be pretty embarrassing. Well, in, in baseball, there's a lot of ways you can mess up. You can strike out on a pitch that you should have bombed. You can overthrow the first baseman, or in my position as a catcher, I can miss blocks. I can overthrow the picture. I can overthrow second base. I can underthrow second base. There's so many things that I can do wrong, especially being in every single pitch of the game. Like the most embarrassing thing I'm going to do is running. Like, I try to get to the ball, and, like, they can't. Is if you trap the ball wrong or if you underestimate like where the ball is gonna um, go to and you kind of like step on the ball and you like trip over it and fall, I think that's pretty embarrassing. Ooh, the most embarrassing thing I could do during a game, mm, I'd say I'd probably trip and fall on my own feet. <laughs> Probably do an extra like 50 an extra lap. I've done that my freshman year I've, and still won. I'll start. Um, either not knowing the event that you're running and doing an extra lap, um, or falling or hitting the hurdle. Um, or also running if you're doing long jump, for example, and you don't look to see who's coming down the runway at the time. It's embarrassing if the person hits you or if you get yelled at and they hit you. That yeah, happened last night. Huh? Just last night, I got dunked on. I got crossed to the ground. That was pretty bad. Yeah. All right. When I... <laughs> Chopped the ball and I didn't chop it quite well, and I completely tripped over the ball. Is probably one of the most embarrassing things that's happened to me. Mm, I don't think I've ever full started, but I missed my event one time and I got kicked out of the game. Oh, one time at a Stanford invite, I was doing long jump, and my left, I jump off my left foot, and so the board, there's a board that you need to step on before you jump, uh, maybe it was slipper or something, and I slipped, but instead of, you know, slipping backwards, I, like, I jumped up and slipped, falling face forward into the pit, 
And at the Stanford Invite, there's always a lot of college coaches, and it's a college meet as well. So I was like front and center, falling face first on my, uh, in the pit, and the whole crowd just went, ooh. So that was like really embarrassing. Um, scored an own goal. I've done that a couple times actually. One time, it was on senior night, and yeah, I kind of cried after, but whatever. Uh, I had braids, and one time, one of them fell off, and just was sitting there. I didn't know it was on there. My teammates like, I was running, and I was rounding first base. And as I was rounding first base. My right cleat slipped off, and I tripped. So instead of making it to at least third base, possibly even scoring myself, I had to crawl my way back to first before I got tagged out. I have a good relationship with the coach, Mr. Remy, and the captain, Ilya. Like, we bonded together throughout the seasons, and since he's my teacher, got to know him that way too. Like, I consider like all my teammates family because I treat them like they're my sisters. Yeah, I think we're all gonna have a good bond to where we are family. Oh, uh, everybody on the team loves me and I love them. You know, it has its good and its bads, but I mean, we're just as corny as it sounds, we're kind of like a big family who gets mad at each other for stupid stuff and by the end of the day, we'll be there for each other. They're like all my sisters. It's a brotherhood. Uh, my relationship with the team is, is kind of like it's a family kind of thing. It's a brotherly relationship with everyone on the team. You know, even if you don't get along with someone, you're still one big family and one, one big swim family. I love my team. They're like a second family. Oh, we're all brothers. Robert. Right here, this is family love. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Squad! 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 Hey! There you go. Family. The relationship's good. It's really a family fun type of environment. Everyone's nice. Everyone's, everyone's really, really nice. I wasn't really interested in the sport at first. It was my mom that put me into it. But once I was in it for a couple years and I started developing better skills and I saw myself become more athletic as I started growing up with the game. And then I started playing travel baseball and that's when I really started to fall in love with the game. Um, playing travel baseball, hanging out with the team, growing up in this kind of like family environment as a team, aside from your regular blood family, it adds, a, um, it's like a brotherhood. Every, you have the love of the game and everybody else shares that love with you. I started playing soccer ever since I was five years old and I did not like soccer whatsoever. I started crying all the practice and yeah, and I was like, A couple years went by and um, I started to find a certain passion for this game and now I, it's like a daily thing with what I do so if I don't do it I feel lost basically. To me it's like, it's like stepping on paradise like Every day when you're on this field, you get to relax and like you get to do you and you don't get like, you take out everything once you step one foot on the field. Um, I just think without softball, I probably wouldn't be able to like, like relax with myself and calm down and I probably get to wait a minute. <laughs> Um, 
I love everything about it. I honestly, I love everything from the spikes to the blocks to the, from the parents always cheering or yelling. I love everything about it. It's really a fun environment to be around in. And it's hard when it's the ends because we just want to keep going. Oh no, I just, it's like when I, when I didn't play basketball, it was boring. My life was boring. But then when I found out that I could play, 